Light is made of photons. The electromagnetic force is carried by particles. But what about gravity? Does it have its own particle, the graviton, hidden behind everything we observe? Einstein's theory of relativity describes gravity as the curvature of space-time, not as a force. But quantum physics says that every force should have its own carrier particle. The graviton would be massless, moving at the speed of light with the spin of two. If it exists, it explains why gravity always pulls and never pushes. And interestingly, in string theory, the graviton appears automatically as if nature itself is hinting at its existence. If the graviton had even the tiniest mass, gravity wouldn't be infinitely long-ranged, it would fade much faster. This has been tested. Gravitational wave measurements put a limit. The graviton's mass is less than 1.27 times 10 to the minus 23 electrovolts. Precise orbital tests in our solar system go even further, less than 10 to the minus 24 electron volts. In practice, this means gravity is completely massless for us and stretches across the universe. And here comes the problem. In theory, the graviton exists, but detecting a single graviton is almost impossible. Physicist Freeman Dyson estimated that even with a detector the size of Jupiter, running for billions of years, we might never observe a single graviton event. That's how weak its interaction is. Still, new ideas offer more hope. Ultracooled resonant sensors could detect tiny quantum jumps of gravity, like a gravitational version of the photoelectric effect. But one single click wouldn't prove anything. It could still be just a classical wave. That's why scientists propose another test. If two tiny masses can become entangled purely through gravity, then the mediator must be quantum. In other words, if gravity can create entanglement, it must be made of gravity. This experiment is extremely difficult, but it is already being prepared in laboratories. If the graviton were ever discovered, it would be one of the greatest breakthroughs in the history of physics. First, it would prove that gravity is truly quantum, not just the curvature of space-time, but a force carried by a particle like all the others. This would bring us closer to uniting Einstein's relativity and quantum mechanics into a single consistent theory. It could also solve the mysteries of black holes. Today, relativity predicts singularities, places where the math breaks down. A quantum theory of gravity might finally explain what really happens inside a black hole, and whether information is lost or preserved. The Big Bang would also look different. The very first moments of the universe were dominated by quantum gravity. With the graviton, we could finally probe what happened at the true beginning of time. And beyond that lies speculation, but if we ever learn to control gravitons, it could lead to technologies as revolutionary as those born from quantum mechanics, artificial gravity for space travel, shielding from gravitational fields, or even entirely new ways of communication. In short, the graviton would not just be another particle. It would be the key that links the smallest scales of the quantum world to the largest scales of the cosmos. Gravitons have never been seen, and perhaps never will be. But if we could detect the entanglement caused by gravity, it would be like a shadow revealing the invisible. It would be proof that gravity truly has its own particle, and that the universe still hides secrets we cannot even imagine.